defense plus 10 with the wall ring. The dash ring gives speed plus 3. I actually do want to put that on uh, Bloom because he's on the speed belt, which is speed plus 2, because his speed is ridiculously slow. So I try to get him as fast as I can. If I'm keeping him in the, the final party, I'll probably be using um, all my speed tabs on him just to, just to keep him uh, on par with everybody else. So, we need to now head out of here pretty much the same way that we came. I don't remember if I showed that on screen. I think I did, but my memory of this place is a little hazy. So, let us leave. I think this is the way that we came in. The Hecron Cave... Was it always this color? I feel like it was like a normal color before. This is the way that we came in, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely the way that we came in. Now, if memory serves me correctly, and it sometimes doesn't, uh, we need to head to Guardia Forest next, which is up here. I should be able to land right there. And here in Guardia Forest, this was uh, the first one that I could have shown before, but I didn't. Um, really? I would rather not fight any enemies here. I mean, it's just going to waste my time. You guys aren't going to give me that much experience. You're not going to give me that much of anything. Is it this way? No, it's further up. Damn it, I did get into a fight. Really? I mean, you guys are like sub-level 1 enemies. You're level 0 enemies! Hardly worth my time. Like, 10 experience, 3 texts. Like, just nothing. Can can I please avoid these guys? Uh no. But I guess that adds up over time because as a result of that fight and those three tech points, Novin has learned his next level tech, which if you remember is Cure 2. Cure Ally to full. No dual techs here with that one, uh, but he is on his way to learning Frog Squash. Low HP each equals greater damage, so basically... Um, I don't want to say it's exactly like Minus Strike in Final Fantasy IX. There, there's a lot of RPGs that use this tactic. Uh, if you have 1 HP, you know, that's going to do much more damage uh, than if you're at full HP. I'm not a big fan of that strategy, though, like ever. The only one that actually forced you to use it, I thought, was Final Fantasy VIII. Um, but if we head over here, we can find nothing. I swear there was something here. Hold on for one second. Because I swore I was here. Actually, it looks like it is here, but unfortunately, I can't go that way. It's been blocked off. So I'm going to have to go a different way to get to that one in particular, and I'll have to show that off. Well, now, actually. As soon as I get out of the forest. That pisses me off, though. That it's in Guardia Forest, but you can't get it through going by going through Guardia Forest. It makes no sense. No sense. Alright, so in order to get this one, we need to go back to the gate. If you remember, the gate is there in, uh, in the forest. Right there. But we need to go back through the gate the other way. So the quickest way that I'm, I'm going to be able to, to, to handle this is by going to 2300 AD and going through Bangor Dome, which should be right here, actually. Right here, if I could land. Bangor Dome. There we go. So, I lied. We were not done with the future. We need to do some more side questing here, even though this is not our ultimate destination. Uh, this is going to be the fastest way to the end of time, because if you remember the gates, they're all lined up. So, um, if you're on the world map, in one time era and you use the epoch to go to a different time era you're going to end up in the same spot in that time era so holy crap we got a lot of these jeez which one was it no not proto dome i need to go like up here trees canyon 600 ad no i need to go to guardia forest 1000 ad it's so confusing when there's nine of them. There we go. That's the one that I need to go to. Uh, so, the world map pretty much stays the same even though you switch time... Uh, switch... Yeah, times, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, 
I think you understand what I'm trying to say. That you'll 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 end up in the same spot on the world map. So if you're by a gate, then you go to the to, to the other time era with the the where the gates connect. You'll be right next to the other one. And in that one, we get a power ring, and that's an overly long explanation for something that I'm sure everybody already understood. Now let's see how good that power ring is. Of course, it's going to lower his his HP if I equip it, but it does give him power plus six. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on JoJo because her equipment right now is the power scarf, and this is an upgrade for that. So yeah, charm power up if I so wanted to do that. But once again, I've never been a fan of that. Power plus six, so everything go up by three, I believe. And we are done here, but unfortunately we're not done in 1000 AD. So it's back to the epoch we go, which is still in 2300 AD. Uh, while we're at the end of time, though, What is my level? Am I too high of a level? I don't think I am. I think I'm level 38, which would be perfect. 37, 38. Okay. So I'm going to attempt something that I, that I might regret. All right, let's, let's heal first, and then I will save. No, not gone yet. Jojo Van Vash. Jojo, go big yawn here. No, I did not mean to talk to you. Dick Jojo, no, man. <laughs> no. And, uh, uh, can I talk to you? Do you have anything new to say now that we know you're Gaspar? Hey, where's that healthy kid with a radical haircut? Hmm. This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Ash. I wish you could lend a hand. Only the Guru of Time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story. Just look at you now, you've become quite formidable. <laughs> Guru of Time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? You've heard he might be the one to bring our Vash back. To bring back long lost, lo long lost loved ones. It's what everyone wants. Fash must be proud to have friends like you. So apparently he's not willing to help us. I do need to, to save though, so I'm going to take full advantage of that. Alright, just for the purposes of this fight, I am going to be bringing uh, Limea with us. Switched her out um, because, well, this guy hits hard. Magically. And these are the three highest magic defenses that I have. Let's go ahead and take them on. Hey, that punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Phew, you hold in a marlin here, kids. He can use shadow, and he could probably teach me a thing or two. I'm looking for some practice, unfortunately. All right, let's take on Specchio. This is going to be a tough-ass fight. There's no way around it. He starts off by casting Fire 2. This is what Fire 2 looks like on everybody. And it does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And we're going to need to try to... Let's see. Haste yourself. You're going to need to try to use... What do you have? Cure 2. On Luke. Luke! <laughs> Start doing some damage. And this is pretty much my setup. I brought Limey along because she can haste and because also she can heal. And both of those are going to be very, very important throughout this fight. Go Fire 2. Remember, Specchio is only weak against magic. I don't know if you guys remember that, but he really is. Really is. Please don't kill Limea. Please don't kill Limea. Doesn't kill Limea. Hooray. I'm just trying to get hastes off. I need hastes across the board. I also need another fire too, and I need another cure too on Lamia. Go fire too! It's another 650. 
Uh, hopefully Novin makes it through this next one. <laughs> We're gonna need, after this, to start using some combos. Alright, haste again. Uh, this time <laughs> on Luke! Come on, show that we can handle this. Okay, cure two on uh, yourself this time. And then we'll go for Luke after that. Luke, you're my only damage dealer right now. I'm all I'm relying on you. I need you to do it for me. Uh, let's go for... i uh, see if that does any better. I don't like how, how Specchio is poised right now. No, yeah, it doesn't really matter what, what you do with him. Okay, so we got haste across the board. Start Kieran. And then Novin uh, can use water too. There we go. Nice, water too. Doesn't do nearly as much damage because his uh, magic stat is not nearly as high. How does lightning do? I assume it's going to be the same. But might as well try it out. Another 654. Ugh. And this is where I might need to start using dual techs. In fact, let's do that right now. What's your curing, curing dual tech? What? I can't use combos anymore. What the hell? Alright, uh, use it there. Use it on Luke. Luke, doesn't matter. Fire, I guess. I like the look of fire. And we're still in it. We're still here. We're still good. We're still good. I don't know why it's not letting me use combos. I don't know if he disabled that. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no combos. So it probably would have helped if I brought Bloon along for a heal beam, but it's too late to make that decision now. It's too late. And then uh, heal yourself. You go for another fire. Uh, this is going to take a long time to finish off this guy. But I'm willing to do it. I can do it. Go another fire for another 650 damage, please. And then, uh... Yeah, you cure yourself. You go for an ice, too. And you go for another fire, too. And we're back in there. Damn it, I should have healed Luke instead. It's okay, though. It's okay. Damn it! You hit hard. <laughs> Why do you hit so hard, Speccio? But, you know, I, I've, I've definitely want to get him done this time through. And we have done it! And we learned the dual tech ice water! Dual tech glacier! Dual tech double cure! Nice! Yeah, sometimes you have to beat him in order to learn the dual techs. Grr! That was most embarrassing! Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you! And we get Specchio Healthy Choice Set. We get one Magic Tab and five full ethers. I am the Master of War. <laughs> Sometimes I scare myself. And we've done it. Let me... <laughs> let me go get my party back then. That was... that was tough. Good lord. Alright, brought Kyra back in. Hey. What's up? Hey. What? What do you want? Here, take this with you. What? Is that an egg? What be this? Methinks an egg? That's what I said. Let's call that the Chrono Trigger. It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. That's the one who made the epoch your wings of time had a hatchet. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have a, an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep fast in your heart, the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? It's you, isn't it? You're Gaspar, the guru of time. Um, well, I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. 
And we got the Chrono Trigger! Hur hooray! And we are ready to finally leave out of here! This is where we need to go, Bangor Dome, 2300 AD. This is where we can get our ship back. So let's actually go and do that. It's been a long time coming since we've seen our ship, hasn't it? Feels like a long time. But I do love my epoch, even though I did not name it. Couldn't think of a name. Still can't think of a name. What do you name a ship with five letters? <laughs> but where will we go next time? You'll have to wait to find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by everybody except for Vash because he disintegrated. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>